Welcome to the WREL Daily Download. I'm your host, Amanda Lamb. The North Carolina State Health Plan covers more than 700,000 state employees, retirees, and their family members. There's discussion about dropping coverage of weight loss drugs, which have skyrocketed to popularity in the past few years. The Board of Trustees is meeting to discuss these concerns over the price of the drugs. WREL reporter Destiny Patterson joins me in this episode to explain this conversation. Destiny, welcome to the program. Thanks for having me. So when you look at the cost of these plans and the increase, uh, it went from $3 million per month that they're paying for these drugs, that was two years ago, to $14 million per month in the past year. 20,000 people are using them. So I guess the big discussion really is surrounding the price, correct? Absolutely. I think also, like many things, it's supply and demand. So over the pandemic, we saw a lot of people now taking these drugs, trying to lose weight. And because of that, the cost has skyrocketed in the same way. And now the state is saying, you know, we don't know if we can continue to help you pay for this. Yeah. I mean, the price tag is crazy. It's $168 million per year. So you can understand why that would be a line item that they're looking at. And You know, historically, these drugs were originally used for diabetics. Um, Then they, you know, turned into uh, drugs that were being used for obesity when they realized, oh, this is something that works. To be clear, though, they're not talking about taking this coverage away for diabetics, correct? Right. And um, I actually had an opportunity today to talk to a woman who used to do private practice, and she ended up taking Ozempic, and she talked about how From a doctor's perspective, she was able to really look at it in a medical sense and see the benefits and talk to her patients about it. Yeah. And I mean, obviously, I think we hear about it constantly because so many people have taken it, taken these drugs, and they've they've had great success. And so that's why, you know, this is a big concern for people. Well, we will talk more about this after the break. Welcome back to the WREL Daily Download. So you mentioned Ozempic. Um, what are some other drugs and, and what are we talking about with in terms of cost? Well, if you ask the state, they actually compared the cost to what people are paying in car payments and thousands of dollars. So, for example, with Govi, it's thirteen more than $1,300 a month. They do get a rebate on that 40%, but it's still a lot of money that people would have to pay, especially out of pocket. Yeah. And I mean, I guess until the like you were talking about the supply and demand, there's so much demand right now. And that's why the cost is going up. If they if they aren't able to make these uh, drugs more cost effective, obviously, there's a lot of concerns about the price in terms of the health care plan. So the drug makers are saying, hey, it's worth it because obesity drives up health care costs. And, and that's their argument, correct? Yes. And anecdotally, uh, a pharmacist that I spoke to today, he told me that one of one of the patients for this drug came in and said they lost like 90 pounds from taking this drug. And because of that, they were able to actually work out and create a better health lifestyle for themselves. Um, But I think to your point, a large part of it is the cost and then covering people who are only taking it for weight loss as opposed to diabetics. Right. And so that argument may not sway uh, the state, the the people who control the state health care plan right now. They might, you know, Mm. unless they see some definite um, and definite effects of that. And, you know, this isn't the only thing being talked about, correct? I mean, they really, the, their big focus is is making this budget smaller, correct? Yeah, they actually use some really interesting language. They said that this is an existential threat to the plan because how much money they're, they're spending on it. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what they decide today and if they do make allowances uh, depending on people's circumstances. Yeah, absolutely. And and what do you expect? I know um, you're getting ready shortly after we talk to go into this meeting. And of course, we're talking before the meeting on Thursday. So any new information we'll include on WRAL.com and of course, also on TV to update people. But what do you expect that they're going to talk about in this meeting? Well, the recommendation at this point is to not cover people who are simply taking it for weight loss. 
So that's what we're going into it expecting. But of course, there will be debate and a and a vote, and we'll get that decision today. Yeah, and I mean, again, a very uh, it's a very personal decision for a lot of people because a lot of people have now discovered these drugs, and like you said, the person who lost ninety pounds, I know uh, one of our colleagues lost seventy pounds. So I do think that a lot of people are using these drugs for weight loss and really want to continue taking them. Mm-hmm. And it's about a lifestyle, like said. So if people can't take the drug anymore and they're not where they want to be, it's going to be difficult for them to continue on that path, especially if they're not you know, continuing to continue their healthy lifestyle that Absolutely. they're working out. Um, Destiny, thank you so much for breaking this down and explaining it to us. And I know you will continue to follow it and we will look forward to Uh, the follow-up from the meeting and what information comes out of that meeting. This has been the WREL Daily Download, a production of WREL News. Check out my new true crime podcast from WREL Studios, The Killing Month, August 1978. Details the investigation into the serial murders carried out by a band of outlaw brothers in Pennsylvania. Episodes one and three are available now wherever you get your podcasts.